WHNT News 19's Joel Porter is taking action and we went to the plant in Tanner today. Joel, what did Redline managers tell you? Clarissa, since we began covering this story in December, we have reached out to Redline Steel several times in hopes of hearing what they've been doing to address those complaints. This week, management agreed to their first on-camera interview with WHNT News 19 on the subject. After agreeing to reschedule from Thursday to Friday, I showed up at the plant today, was told the owner was sick, nobody from the company would go on camera, nor was I allowed to see anything from the factory floor. And some customers have been waiting since Thanksgiving. So I just thought it would be something great, you know, for as a Christmas item for him. It's been a frustrating few months for Cherie Carlson. Like several other people, her custom metal monogram from Redline Steel didn't make it by Christmas. And so I posted something and they kept deleting it. And so then I messaged the guy and the next thing you know, I was booted off the page and actually blocked off the page. Not exactly the treatment she was expecting. Still, the company has spent the last few weeks rushing to box up and ship out the overdue orders, which meant Carlson finally got a straight answer. Pretty much really yesterday when I finally got my shipping confirmation. Redline Steel Management declined to appear on camera or allow me to see anything on the factory floor on Friday. They told me they're now on the last 5% of the overdue orders, and they say they plan to have the rest of the overdue Christmas orders shipped out by Saturday. Due to the high call volume, we are currently not accepting calls. For weeks, this was the automated response for frustrated callers. By Friday, however, a more personal touch. Thank you for calling Redline. I may help you. Hello there. Hello. They're still not reaccredited, but Redline Steel's Better Business Bureau rating rose from a D minus to a B minus. The company has now merged its different products under the name Redline Decor. Companies have tried to rename themselves, restructure uh, to get away from the bad reputation that they've developed uh, under another business name. That's happened here locally many times. Redline management say they hope to get their rating back to an A by next month. Garcia says to do it, they'll have to satisfy complaints from customers like Carlson. And I verified today and it actually will be here tomorrow. Redline management says they've hired five customer service employees to answer phone calls. They wouldn't give me an exact number as to how many orders they have yet to ship out. In the newsroom, Joel Porter, WHNT News 19.